In this section, I will discuss about the differential form of the Gosla. Right, as you know that the Gosla can be defined by this formula. Right, closed surface integral of e dot ds is equal to q upon f plus epsilon naught. Left hand side, this is the electric flux. Electric flux means uh, the total number of electric field lines. which are passes through a particular area that is known as electric flux so these four lines basically indicate the flux right this is just an example and uh, as here you can see this uh, gosla that is equal to q upon epsilon naught the q is in terms of the volume charge density here volume integral rho and dv you can write volume charge density rho is the volume charge density this is volume charge density right Therefore, phi is equal to closed surface integral e dot ds is equal to 1 upon epsilon naught and this value you can put here right and as a result you can get this right hand side that is 1 upon epsilon naught volume integral right rho and dv now what we have to do you see here this is the closed surface integral this is the volume integral so these notations indicate that we have to use gauss divergence theorem right gauss divergence theorem provide a relationship between the closed surface integral and the volume integral and you can see that e dot ds is equal to this is equal to volume integral right divergence of that field dv right so we have to use this gauss divergence theorem so you can see here that the left hand side here is equivalent to the volume integral of the divergence of that field so here this value is taken from the gauss divergence applying the gauss divergence theorem and as a result the right hand side becomes as it is 1 upon epsilon naught this is epsilon naught uh, volume integral rho, rho dv this is volume integral now you can compare both the side right now here is volume integral this is also volume integral and divergence of p dv and this is 1 upon epsilon naught rho dv so by equating the both side you observe that this volume integral divergence of p minus rho upon see rho is variable right dv volume of the conductor or any object if is fixed uh, then the rho that is the volume charge density can vary so it can comes out 